What's up, Doombots? ISO 8 class quick start guide for Raider. I'm going to keep the damage ones together. So we've already talked about Striker and kind of how that's for people who hit hard and hit often. Raider's got to be for somebody too. Uh, it's about people who hit uh, multiple times frequently or people who have a already highly incentivized crit value. So let's take a quick look at Raider and check it out at each of its tiers. So starting off at its first tier, level one, on active ability crit. Active ability just means if you push a button, no passive, no trigger. It, it, it has to be an active ability. Um, some way that you did something that occurred. It goes out of its way to kind of clarify. It's like not on a counterattack, not on, you know, an assist. And that's what it's trying to say. More importantly, when you think of passives that counterattack, this is not going to apply on that. So on active ability crit, apply plus one vulnerable, which can stack additional times up to a maximum of three uh, and gain 15% crit chance. Now, most characters have a base crit chance of 10%. So putting this on any character will put them to at least 25% crit at just level one. No worries there. Pretty reasonable overall upgrade. You have a one in four chance of critting. One of the reasons why this becomes incredibly relevant for crit is when you look at characters who have boosted crit. Characters like Killmonger or Bullseye or... Corvus Glaive or Elsa Bloodstone, characters whose crit rating is already relatively high, this just adds to their crit rating. Another reason to look at this is when you look at characters who do something called multi-hit, whether it be a character who hits a target more than once on their attack, or whether a person hits multiple targets, and the more of those abilities they have, the better. For example, Every single one of Elsa's abilities hits at least two times. Sometimes it hits six times. Sometimes it hits three people. Each of those hits is an opportunity to proc a crit and therefore put a vulnerable. Vulnerable cannot be resisted as of right now. So it's pretty relevant when you see characters who are not only hitting multiple times on the same target, whether it be a Mystique Basic or a any of Killmonger's moves, really, or a, a giant AoE attack that's constantly happening. Characters like Crystal or Yo-Yo or Killmonger. Uh, the benefit of being able to technically put a vulnerable on multiple targets or extend those vulnerables just by playing the character the way they're supposed to is incredibly huge. The downside is that as you progress uh, to level 3, you gain a small amount of crit chance of 5%, and you gain a small amount of critical damage of 5%. Yes, it's a little bit more, but that extra 5% there, and then of course moving down to a 5 and 10% increase at level 5, they don't really make too much of a difference as far as reliability of critting or pure damage output because unless you're critting about half of the time you're attacking it's very unlikely that you're going to see major numbers from these damage and it's very costly to get there that said as a member of a team to get raider they're probably not the leading damage deal around the team what they end up being is the leading setup character for your brawler or as we'll talk about later, your skirmisher. Uh, anyone with a striker, anyone with a skirmisher tag will take advantage of the vulnerables that these guys put up and most likely the extra damage that was accrued on those characters will make up the difference uh, for the, the finishing touches later. So, we talked about what they are and where they're good. Let's take a quick look at some characters and discuss the differences of why they're good. So a quick look at all of these characters, you'll notice one thing in common. Every single one of these characters hits multiple targets or multiple times. Symbiote Spider-Man, every single one of his attacks hits more than one person, providing there's adjacency. Same thing with Sabretooth, 
Um, in addition, while it is slightly unfortunate that Sabretooth's assists that he gets when other people take attacks aren't going to proc vulnerable, it still does benefit him to have additional crit. War Machine, every single one of War Machine's attacks hits multiple times, from his basic hitting three people to his special hitting three people up to three or four times each, and then of course his ultimate being insane. Killmonger, enough said, and we've already discussed Elsa. So when you see a character whose entire setup is to hit multiple people, even if it's just one major ability, that's where you're going to get a lot of value out of crit. Characters like Pyro, where every single one of their attacks is going to do something, could stand to benefit a lot from that crit. Even though Pyro's damage won't go up dramatically because he doesn't have a lot of damage, he will totally get value out of Pop putting a ton of vulnerables on them. So there are plenty of characters overall that stand to benefit from this tag. And again, this is a utility tag for the most part. You are using this in conjunction with whomever is going to take advantage of the vulnerable stacks you put on. Everyone's going to take some advantage of it, as it is a 10% decrease or increase in damage coming, decrease in, de in defenses, whatever you want to call it. Everyone's going to have some advantage from it, but as long as there's somebody who can take advantage of the vulnerable stacks you're probably going to put on, you're going to be in a good spot. So always look at the characters on the teams that you're building and see how many guys do these hit, how frequently do they hit, how fast are they that they can get these hits in all the time, and that's going to really line up whether or not you should put Raider on them. So hopefully this was informational, hopefully it helped you. Uh, if you have any comments on characters that are completely crazy, but totally re reasonable Raider characters, let me know in the comments below. Have a good night, have a great day. I've been Tony Scangeli, and I'll catch you later.